So hey guys, um, in writing news, I am working on my uh, same cluster of projects, which I guess I'll tell you right now, if I, I probably mentioned it before, it's uh, titled Winterfall, and um, I do have a plan for as far as when I intend to make a kind of formal announcement that I'm working on it, I guess, um, but you know, I've been working on, I guess, bits and pieces of it here and there while uh, being interrupted by TFF a little bit because I had kind of been jumping between projects in the cluster um, but I have reached at least a little point where I think I need to uh, take a pause and, and uh, I guess work out a little bit of the bugs that have come up not you know I mean I, I would mostly just say that while I kinda know what is supposed to happen I'm not exactly sure what to do at the point I'm Add if that makes sense. But, I mean, it's not hugely concerning to me. It's just, you know, um, this afternoon I need to work on some video projects and video elements, a lot of which are are uh, due soon, or at least I wanted to have done relatively uh, probably today because, you know, TFF was during a weekend I normally would have been working on video work, but also there's a couple of things that you can't do, like con videos. I can't shoot those six months in advance. So, um, you know, that's a lot of what I'll be working on today, but in uh, writing news I would say that it is going well, um, but I am going to, I guess, uh, you know, make sure it keeps going well. Um, so there is that. Uh, I did go to the dentist. I had to skip my last appointment because at the time I was unemployed and did not have the money uh, for the the cleaning. But well, we did go. Both uh, Shrag and I got some slightly. I get well. I don't even know if I'd call it bad news, but all was not perfectly well with the dental situation. So we have to go back a couple of times for some work that we need done. Which, of course, even though, I mean, thank you know, I'm very grateful right now that I have uh, insurance again, that I have a, a, you know, a good job now that will help me pay for it and all that other stuff, but still, it's something I was hoping not to have to deal with. So, needless to say, it will post uh, push a lot of my plans down just a little bit while I take care of this because, you know, it's got to be done and it's important and, you know, I'd rather uh, get it done while I can, uh, while I can do so. So, you know, I mean, most of the stuff, I mean, it's, it's really just annoying because there's a lot of things I wanted to try and uh, be working towards, but this will just delay that a little bit. So, you know, I'm going to look at the things I want to uh, I want to get when I have the opportunity and like prioritize what's the most important, what can wait, um, and so on and so forth. I mean, there's definitely a lot of art that I kind of want to commission, but obviously that uh, is not as important as some of the other things. And, you know, I mean, I have plenty of money under normal circumstances to deal with the necessities as well as the stuff I would like to do, but this, I was really hoping that it would just be a, a plain old cleaning and that they wouldn't find anything. But that being said, at least, you know, in the situation I'm in, I really just have barely, you know, started working. And I also have uh, had to go, well, I didn't have to go, but I went to TFF, which not only, uh, you know, because I just started, I don't have any leave to take. So I'm uh, missing a couple of days in last the last check and this check, which also does not help. But, I mean, there's no, you know, it's not like there's any uh, real concern. It's just, like I said, it's got, it's, it necessitates a, re, a, a short-term rearrangement of priorities. You know, everything that I want to do is still on the docket. Everything that I will, you know, wanted to, to purchase both uh, for, you know, providing, I guess, more and better content for you guys and also for uh, things I want to do for my uh, business and for my writing to promote all that stuff. It's still on the pile. It's just got to be pushed down a check or two. So, you know, that's that's that. But, I mean, one thing I do want to kind of indicate is that I would like to try and maybe see if I can, uh, I guess, I've been working on trying to make some more intros and outros for my channel so that I'm not always using the same one. Because, um, you know, generally speaking, I just really haven't had the opportunity. And also for a while, I just hadn't really thought about it. But I kind of had some ideas a couple of weeks back about some new uh, intros and outros that I could possibly commission. So I've been uh, I reached out to 
the animator that did my first one, and they seem to be interested in doing more. And you know, I'll see if it's something they can do. I don't usually, uh, you know, for an intro, I don't usually look for anything hugely complicated. But you know, we'll see. I have no idea what uh, what we can do, but we'll find out. And hopefully, uh, you'll start seeing a few more different kinds of intros in you know whenever that starts working into play. I mean, the the short shortest term uh, from production to release is the vlogs, of course, which are usually shot and produced within two weeks of of broadcast. And of course, the pre uh, pre pre recorded content, which usually requires more work and more preparation, is a lot further in advance. But you know, we'll see. It's like it's all. Uh, particularly this uh, this time, it's all a learning experience. So just bear with me, and you know it'll all you know you'll see a bunch of new stuff eventually. You know because I got plans to do, I guess maybe one of those. Um, I think they call it face rig. I, I know I was playing with it in one of the vlogs, and you know I want to commission a custom avatar for me. Uh, you know, I mean, depending on the scenarios, you know, uh, particularly with the vlogs, it's like sometimes I'll just record just me. Sometimes I'll have the suit on. Like particularly, I want to try and do that for like furry cons to always have the, f the first suit head. And it really just, I guess, will kind of depend. But I want to provide like a reasonable variety of stuff so that I'm not like always in suit, or you know, you know, just I guess, just providing as much value as I can to you guys so that it's something that you want to keep watching. And also just to update it for myself, because I mean the important, the most important thing that I've been learning, that I've been trying to uh, put into practice this year, is not just you know I mean not to do it for uh, for any other reason other than you know it's something I want to do, it's something I enjoy, and it's something I find useful. You know, it's like a, it's I guess the easiest way to keep everybody updated on what's going on with me and how I am and all that other stuff. So, you know, this vlog I guess seems easier to me to talk about it than it does to like write a big long journal every month or something. So, and it's also I can something I can do every couple of weeks, without too much effort. But you know, that's uh, that's that stuff with the dentist. I mean, as far as the the job is going, it's going really well. Um, I mean, I've been having I guess what I would call busy weeks. But I consider that like the good kind of busy. You know, I don't feel overwhelmed, but I usually have a lot to do, and usually there's, I guess, a bunch of different tasks to keep me occupied. And I always used to think that, like, you know, when they say like every day is going to be different, that it's kind of, I guess, a little intimidating, just because you know I, I used to kind of think that what I wanted was, you know, I know exactly what I'm doing at any point in the day, just so that there's no surprises, but. You know, I don't know. I mean, maybe it was just like a matter of finding the right job because this job really has been working out well. It's like I pretty much have my own space to work. I pretty much can work at my own uh, direction. I mean, sometimes they give me things to do or uh, priorities will come across my desk, but it's not like I have to decide to do them like right now. You know, I can do them when I have time or when it seems like, you know, you know I can gauge the priority of it you know uh, last week they had a project that I that they said they really wanted me to prioritize so of course I uh, made sure that was done before I did the other things but I still had plenty of time to do other tasks you know this week I learned how to do a few of the little things that come with my job um, uh, like how to order people uh, business cards and stuff like that you know I had to figure that out kind of on my own which uh, really wasn't that hard um, but it was it was it was you know it was one of those things that I'm just kind of figuring out as I go and and refining the process because I asked uh, I asked everybody you know to give me a, a card so that I can just keep that on file so that next time anybody needs one they can just tell me order me some more and I can just you know use their existing one as a template unless of course there's an update or something and um, let's see I guess uh, the last thing I would mention right now is that uh, we've been watching a series on Apple TV called For All Mankind um, it's by Ronald D. Moore in Battlestar Galactica fame and Star Trek if you've seen any of his work you know that he's really good at sci-fi storytelling television production and I mean, I know that uh, at least for me, there's not a whole lot on Apple TV, but what there is, I really enjoyed. It's like Foundation for All Mankind, uh, this, a movie called Finch, a movie uh, that we were waiting for called Greyhound, which was also you know both starring Tom Hanks, and they're both really good. But I mean, for All Mankind, I guess to put it quickly, is that it's an alternate history of the space program. It's like what things would have been like if the Russians had beat us to the moon, and it was. It's a really interesting story, you know, about how because um, 
about how, you know, if the space race had never ended. Because, you know, Russia gets to the moon first in this storyline. The pilot is called Red Moon. And, you know, then, of course, America has to come up with a response. And it's kind of, I guess, about the back and forth of the space program. And each season is kind of like a self-contained story that covers a different decade of the space program. You know, the first one is like the 60s and the 70s, I think. And the second one is like the 80s. And it looks like season three will be set in 95, where in this timeline we've already made it to Mars. So, um, but it's a good story. They, they seem to do it really well. And, I mean, the production value is very good. And, you know, I would say that if you're interested in history, if you're interested in the space program, if you like sci-fi, this is definitely a show that you want to watch. So, I mean, if, you know, they, they do a monthly subscription. So, I mean, if, you, if you're so inclined, you could just sign up for a month and then watch it and then, you know, shut it down if that's what you want to do. But it's definitely a, a series that I would recommend most people check out. And um, I guess as far as uh, as far as that stuff, that's it for now. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Catch you later.